Hi guys, today I will show you how to create a widget via C++. You can ask me uh, that uh, you have a video, with, you have tutorial with the same name on your channel. Uh, yep, but I'm rename uh, my old tutorial uh, to how to add, how add to import Blueprint via C++. Actually, in uh, this uh, in this old tutorial, I showed you how to uh, how to add to player screen a blueprint widget via C++ but today we will create C++ widget a widget uh, that uh, I don't know uh, for example uh, our widget buttons will uh, calling uh, events from C++ and uh, we we will uh, add this C++ widget via blueprints uh, let's start it now I'm on our institute knowledge base page and uh, here we will uh, do all of this step by step. Now we have a Patreon account. If you want to help this project, you can become our patron on the link you can see on the screen. Uh, first of all, we need to create uh, some project. I created empty third person template uh, project. And uh, first of all, what we need, we need to create a child C++ class of user widget C++ class. Uh, actually, I want to uh, click here file, then uh, new C++ class and here I need to uh, click show all classes and here I, I need to find a user, a user widget that, that is. Uh, okay, great. Next, you can choose uh, your folder and create class. Uh, yep, our C++ class has been created. Then. Uh, go next. Then we need to create child blueprint class of created before C++ class. What it means? Uh, uh, we have uh, we created class with the my user widget name. Then in Unreal Engine 4 we need to create a new blueprint class based on our C++ class. It must be uh, my, yeah, uh, not user widget but my user widget. Then I click select uh, my BP. Widget. We will add this widget uh, on the screen a little bit later. Uh, great. Go next. Then we need to declare our button property in the our C++ uh, class. Uh, I can uh, copy this code. Control C. Then here in uh, H file we need to declare our button. We created um, our button variable with the start game for example a uh, name yep uh, this is our button class and this is our name and here we have a macro you property macro uh, with the meta uh, being bind widget what it means we need to create button with the same name as you property in the derived blueprint class what it means first of all we need to compile this a new code i can click here build or i can press just uh, sh uh, ctrl shift b yep and uh, compiling process uh, has been started yep build succeeded great then then we can close this project a uh, better uh, practice that uh, it's uh, opening uh, it's opening our project uh, from uh, visual studio then let's open this uh, our new widget and here we have an errors a required widget uh, binging start game of type button was not found what it means uh, here this uh, meta bind widget uh, will bind uh, this uh, variable this button variable with the blueprint button variable and uh, to fix that we need to create uh, here uh, some uh, button with the same name like in this you property and here uh, we for example uh, let's add the canvas panel and here and then uh, just button yep compile we have an error but if we rename this button uh, to um, start game compile save let uh, and great uh, our uh, our errors gone yep we have no errors now 
Uh, then let's uh, add this uh, widget to our player screen. Yep, I press play and I want to see this button on my screen. Uh, I go into the some character, for example, blueprint. Here I want to find... Uh, um, I want to find uh, uh, begin play. I went begin play, then uh, then I wanna I wanna add the uh, mouse cursor to our screen. Now we have no no cursor. Uh, get uh, player uh, controller, then uh, set uh, show mouse cursor. Yep, I activate this cursor. Then create widget. Then create widget from our created my uh, uh, my BP BP widget. Yep, compile save. Then I wanna uh, add to viewport. Great, compile save. I press play and looks we have button here. We have a output log and uh, uh, and now we have no binding. We just created this button. Great. Um, then we done with that. Then we need add vi virtual uh, user reached initialize function with super initialize function inside. Actually, we need to override the, this method uh, from uh, our parent uh, user widget class. Uh, what do we need? First, we can uh, open this page and uh, see technical uh, documentation uh, how to do this. But in our case, I have this code here. And first of all, what do we need? We need to uh, override this virtual uh, function here. I can I can copy then. I can copy here. Then in Visual Studio, let's uh, let's close our project. Save. Yeah. Then we need to override here. Uh, wait a minute. Yep. Then we can quick action and refactoring and create and create definition and Visual Studio will create it for us uh, code in our C++ class. Let's close it here and looks we have um, we have a definition. Actually, we can create this from scratch. We actually we actually add this uh, virtual initialize method function, and then we need to add a super initialize uh, function inside. We can copy this super uh, method, and uh, here we can paste this, uh, like here. And here we need to um, to return uh, true, return true. Great. Then I will press uh, Ctrl Shift B. I wanna compile this project. Uh, yeah, build uh, succeeded. Uh, great. Then uh, what do we need next? Um, actually, we done with this. Then we need uh, add a header file to have ability works with our buttons. I can just copy here, and we can see here components button dot h. We can just uh, we can just uh, copy this code and add it to uh, C plus to CPP file. Uh, great and paste here. Looks here and now we can works with our buttons. Then. Uh, go back and then we need add some uh, function uh, will be delegated with our button on click it event. Uh, and actually, as you if you know how to works with the delegates, sign signatures of this function must be the same that in a call it event. In our case, we will uh, create a U function, a start a button, click it, you can uh, call it uh, how you want. Uh, I copy this, then here, I uh, here I will uh, paste that, for example here, then I click here, quick action and refactoring and create definition. Definition has been created, we can find it here, looks. Then, uh, in this definition, to be sure that our function uh, is calling, when we will pressing, we will click it on this button, I will copy just this log uh, code, and uh, this code will just write in our console that 
our button is working when we will clicking this button i just con control c then uh, paste here and uh, then what we need uh, what we need last we need to create uh, this uh, event we need to create uh, this uh, dynamic delegate uh, first we need uh, just uh, we need to uh, write our button it's start uh, it's a start game variable then we need to call uh, on click it event yep great then looks here we need to add this code let's copy this let's um uh, paste here and what is add dynamic and then in this uh, add dynamic uh, function we need first first one it's it's link uh, of the class where we will call some function and here we have a function name uh, will be uh, calling when we will clicking on our button uh, great in our case it will be this actually in this class we will calling this uh, namespace and this uh, function start button click it when we will clicking uh, on start game button on click it event will be calling and will be calling this function i want to compile this project Control shift b let's compile to be sure that we have no errors here uh, yep great then we can open our project uh, i want to have uh, some uh, i want to have uh, output log here looks then i press play and i clicking on these buttons and looks our button is working this is all for today if you like this video you can press like you can subscribe this channel if you have some questions you can ask it uh, in the comments and see you later